Who here wants to be successful? Who wants to build their confidence, build friendships, set and complete goals, and become more effective with time management, and see failure as an opportunity? These are all reasons we need to play sport, and why us girls need to keep playing sport. I found so many reasons throughout my lifetime to keep playing sport. When I was nine, I begged my mother to give up hockey. I didn't enjoy it. And I never wanted to go to training on a Friday night. She told me there was only one thing she would not let me give up, and that was hockey. So I had to stick with it, and that was the end of it. Pretty soon I realized that might as well enjoy it. I mean, I'd be doing it for a while. And now I love hockey. I love being with my friends. I love winning. I can't say I like losing so much, but I've learned to live with it when I have to. The biggest benefit for me of playing sport only became apparent to me recently when I was seriously unhappy. The only thing that distracted me was sport. Sport helped me through a really hard time in my life and when I needed it, it took me out of my destructive head and into my body. Sport brought me unexplainable, unimaginable joy while there's research to back it up. Research shows so many benefits, like learning to win or lose, or accepting your own self-image. You might be asking me now why I'm only talking about girls. It's because half of all girls by age 17 have quit sport entirely. Some reasons being they didn't see a future for themselves in sport. I mean, I don't see a future for myself speaking Irish, but I do it anyway. A large number of girls want to prioritize schoolwork, despite the evidence that playing sport helps you with time management and organization for when you have time to do your homework and studying. It also tires you out to help you get a better sleep for an early start in the morning. A smaller number of girls, but still a lot, said they were missing out on their social life. And sadly, nearly a third of all girls said they weren't good enough. But sport isn't about being good. For most, you're just there to have fun. And that's all that matters. When parents are asked, what do you want for your child when they're older? They could often say confidence or resilience. And both of these qualities can be gained from playing sport. You just have to find the right one for you the one that brings you joy and the one that you resonate with. For me, it's climbing and hockey. I love feeling free running around on the hockey pitch while having a laugh with my friends. And on a climbing wall, I get to work out a problem in my head and then solve it with my body while chatting with my friends. In order to play sport, you have to be focused. You cannot play a game of football while daydreaming. Your head has to be in the game. And when your head's in the game, you can't worry about anything else. Some very successful women in business in America were asked what they attribute to their success. And 96% of those women said that playing sport through their teenage years gave them the qualities they needed to become successful in the business world. Qualities like positive self-image, being able to get back up in the face of setbacks, and being able to accept any outcome. Sport needs to become part of our daily lives, like brushing our teeth, eating meals, or going to sleep. Each sport will give you something different. Try as many as you can to find your heart singing, and at the same time, your tribe. <laughs>